Jared Mazzacci already has students clamoring to attend his class in projection design. It's no wonder. Maryland's one of the few schools in the country to offer a class in this new art form. Jared's work recently became even more important when he collaborated with other artists and veteran organizations to help raise awareness of post-traumatic stress disorder. Music, theater, and dance can inspire creativity, express emotion, and tell a story but they also have the ability to impact social change. Jared Mazzacci, a visiting professor of multimedia in Maryland School of Theater, Dance and Performance Studies, recently collaborated with other artists on You Are Dead, You Are Here, a play which helped raise awareness about the psychological impact of combat. You Are Dead, You Are Here is a story of uh, Michael, a returning veteran, uh, going to an experimental kind of new form of therapy with the use of virtual Iraq, which is a virtual reality goggles, and you walk through simulated versions of Iraq or Afghanistan, and it allows the patient to talk through their anxieties, and usually their anxieties are about the nothingness that's happening and the fear that something will happen. As is usually the case, art imitates life. Virtual Iraq, which Mazzacci used to design the projection design for the play, was actually created in 2004 by Skip Rizzo, a clinical psychologist doing immersion therapy on patients suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. At Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, Dr. Michael Roy, a retired Army colonel, is leading research using Virtual Iraq to treat both active and retired service members. This treatment really makes a difference. And it's also, I think, more appealing than other treatments for many service members. This is something that will bring them in where they might be resistant to traditional talk therapy or just taking another medicine. The actors in You Are Dead, You Are Here simulate the powers of virtual reality therapy on stage. But program director Lee Wilson Smiley believes the real healing takes place in the audience. It's in the theater in, with other people where we encounter the deepest parts of our humanity. Performing arts has always been involved with changing society and social change. It's the place where we talk about cultural difference, cultural acceptance, the place where we can all come together again, um, where we acknowledge and don't hide pain, and where there can be real healing. The show, which ran off Broadway in New York, also included pre-performance talks with veterans organizations with the goal of raising awareness of PTSD and treatment options. What was most exciting about after every show was how many people lingered in the space and were conversing not necessarily about the show but about the issue. Somebody watching the play can see the the vulnerability that the patient feels, how difficult that is to bare your soul. We'll talk about these very painful memories with a therapist, but how much they can be helped by doing so. Back in the classroom, Mazzacci uses his real world experience to educate and inspire. I would hope that all projection design programs have faculty that are working for students to watch that I'm succeeding and failing at the same pace that they are just on a stage somewhere else, I think allows for conversation to take place of saying, okay, if you were in my shoes or if I were in your shoes, how could we do this? And it's more of a team effort. Many of them have gone and worked with Jared in Europe and in New York and regionally here in the area. And it gives our students possibilities that are way beyond what they could have done before.